beautiful Sunday and we're going to make a great Sunday dinner. I have here a beautiful boneless pork shoulder roast. It's about five pounds and we're going to make a roti de carchon, roast pork. And we're going to add a couple of elements of surprise, orange, lemon, and plums. Bet you haven't heard that one yet. Yeah, we're going to combine that with some sherry going to mix it all up, 350 in the oven, and it's going to melt in your mouth, and everybody's going to say, wow, where did you get this from? And you'll say, Danny, my friend. All right, let's start cooking. Coming into the kitchen over here. We're going to get ready to cook, folks. It's just an awesome day to cook. Got a little U2 playing. Got to shut that off while I talk to you here. I also had some tea steeping while I was gone. I love to actually uh, have some tea in the morning as well as coffee. You know, I love my coffee, but I like to have some uh, mixed berry tea. I get this uh, one particular tea from ESP Emporium uh, online, and uh, it's a blend of different types of, uh, of uh, berries, and it has an unbelievable flavor. It's cherries and apple and apricot and all kinds of wonderful uh, infusions of flavors. So let's unpack over here. I have my, my pork and I, I have a couple of oranges, actually three to be exact, and one lemon. I'll buy just what I need essentially sometime because I don't want it to spoil uh, during the week. And I also actually opened up a can of plums. This is a large can over here, about a pound and uh, 13 ounces, I'll tell you exactly. I am going to cook this baby in this pot over here. You want to try to use something like this, a Dutch oven. This is cast iron, and this will be handed down to my kids, 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 because you can't destroy these things. It's great. I'm going to be browning up this pork in here, and I'll be finishing it off with the rest of the fruit flavors in the oven once again at the low heat so I can get very tender. And one other thing I want to point out to you is uh, coming up very soon, it's going to be grilling season. I mean, really soon, because summer is going to hit us any time now. It's hitting us today. It's, it's uh, unbelievable. I have this uh, pan. It's a baking stone from Emile Henri. And uh, in English, I guess you'd say uh, uh, Emile. It, it hurts to say it in English. Emile Henry. And in fact, here's a perfect example of, of, of uh, bad translation or just French sounds good the way it's supposed to be uh, spoken. My uncle's restaurant was Marie Jean up in one of his restaurants up in, uh, in Cape Cod in Hyannis. And in English, you call it Mary Jean's. It kind of loses the translation, doesn't it? Uh, so Marie Jean, I think I'll stick with. And Emile Henri is what you should stick with too. This is actually a stone made from the clay from Burgundy, France. And it can withstand 700 degrees. Therefore, you can put this on the grill, you can put it in the oven, and uh, this will last a lifetime too if you take care of it. We're going to be grilling some salmon, some vegetables. So it has nothing to do with today's meal, but I wanna tell you in advance to find one of these and buy it, and then you're just gonna go crazy all summer long. It'll be one of the best investments that you can make. They have it in different colors too. They have it in cherry and other things, but I think black is probably gonna be the best because it's gonna get a little dirty. It's gonna get some use the way it should. All right, so let's start to put some of these elements together. And again, enjoy your beverages in the kitchen. Make this a good time when you're cooking. Uh, you wanna enjoy yourself with food, uh, a little snacking, and uh, some tea, a glass of wine, a coffee, whatever you'd like. And it, oh, by the way, I look at this and this, uh, was actually from one of my parents' restaurant. This thing is uh, really ancient and it's near and dear to my heart. Uh, once in a while I'll break them out and it reminds me of being in a restaurant and serving some coffee in them or something to that degree. Uh, really great memories. Uh, anyway, so it's time to brown the meat. My Dutch oven is on the very powerful burner and I'm going to put four 
uh, tablespoons of butter. Yes, four tablespoons of butter. And Jacques and Julia were correct, just like the rest of France. Uh, and especially, I like to listen to Jacques because he's quite the liaison between uh, the French culture and the American culture. Uh, whatever Jacques says, I listen to. He knows the stuff. There'll be nobody like Jacques. He is just, he was, he was brought up and trained at a time of haute cuisine. And it was, uh, there was no nouvelle cuisine, which is great nouvelle cuisine, but haute cuisine was at a time of training that was intense. He learned his stuff. He knows his stuff. And so that's why if he's going to say something, I'm going to listen to him. His technique, his tips, his latest book, by the way, which I interviewed, which I, I do have on my website, if you search earlier on, for Essential Pépin. Uh, that's a lot of fun too if you want to take a look at that video. But okay, so I have my four tablespoons that are melting very nicely. And look at this glorious piece of meat over here, the shoulder. It's boneless, so you don't have to worry about the bones, although I love the one with the bone as well. This thing is always interrupting me, isn't it? Every time I make a video, the oven tells me I'm preheated. That's okay, because that's going to go in next. But let's start browning. So you want to brown all sides. Put it on one side, sear it in. I'm gonna fire up this heat even higher. You want this to the highest heat possible so you get that nice caramelization and just keep on flipping it until the whole thing is this glorious brown color. Then we're gonna shift that right into the oven after we add all of our fruit ingredients. Okay, so with every recipe, I'm going to provide you with a secret weapon. Today's secret weapon is brought to you by Thyme, freshly plucked from the garden, as well as this beautiful rosemary sprig. Now, once we add that to the fruit and the sherry and cover it up, it's going to add this amazing aroma to the kitchen and the flavor to the beef is going to be, excuse me, to the pork is going to be absolutely astonishing. So give that a try. Get yourself some fresh uh, plants because it really makes a difference compared to the dried craft. Just get that out of your kitchen. All right, look at that roast. It is absolutely stunning. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is to add my can of plums over here. This is a little trick. You want to uh, put a little slotted spoon and uh, it stops it from splattering all over the place. And this isn't heavy syrup, so it's going to reduce to make an amazing sauce. All right, that'll be the first element. We can also put in our oranges at this point. Just scatter them about. We've got three of them, so it's going to take up a fair amount of the pan. Doesn't really much matter how you're going to put these in over here. And then uh, the next thing, this is hot but I do have asbestos fingers through the years. Now we have our lemon. You want to cut that in two, juice it up, and uh, you can catch the uh, juice through your fingers so that the seeds don't get in. Do the entire lemon, and you can just let that sit right on top of the roast. And then the last element, almost next to the last element, is going to be this sherry. We'll put that right in. Let's get back to our beverage. Ooh. Fill this up again for me, but thank you very much. Uh, hey, it's afternoon. I can have this now. <laughs> Put a little orange avec the rotzi. Okay, get that right on top. Look at that little sprig of the thyme right there handy. I'm going to take some of these uh, juices as well and uh, I'll put them into my little uh, my bowl so that we can, uh, we can uh, put it right on top of the uh, slices when we're done. Okay, this is perfect. So, oh, oh and it's tender. Um, wait till you see. Try one of these uh, boneless shoulders. They're really wonderful if you can find them. If not, get a regular shoulder, that's fine. You can get a picnic shoulder, you can get a smoked shoulder. They're all wonderful, they're all at the top of my list. The only thing is, the one with the bone is actually probably twice the volume, and so you'd have to double the amount of ingredients for the sauce. Instead of uh, th uh, three oranges, you need six oranges, that kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, enjoy this amazing meal with your friends and your family. Cook in the kitchen with them and build memories that will last a lifetime. And good cooking to everybody. Take care.